petrol but now on the prices. Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, IPRA, has revised the prices of diesel and paraffin downwards by two shillings to retail at 203.47 and 203.06 per litre respectively. The price of a litre of super petrol has, however, remained unchanged retailing at 217.36 shillings. APRA says that the government was prompted to stabilize the pump prices to cushion Kenyans from increased landed costs. Without the stabilization, a litre of super petrol would retail at 229.37 shillings, diesel at 223.29 shillings and kerosene at 206.70 shillings. A CBK report this month had revealed a decrease in international prices explaining reduced pump prices in the neighboring Tanzania. Meanwhile, motorists hit hard by the high cost of living occasioned by high fuel prices now want the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority to lower fuel prices further to give them some reprieve. Their plea comes days since President William Ruto and Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir hinted at possible oil price, uh, oil price hikes brought about by global factors. The pinch of the pain at the pump can only be explained well by Patrick Sironga, a Matatu operator in Nairobi. 75% iyo imekua fuel. 25% garama ya gari na mshahara ya dereva. Hakika hii sector ilikuwa ndiyo tegemeo, lakini saa hizi imekua ndiyo imetufinya zaidi. The past few months have not been easy, he tells me. His daily average earning is barely enough to sustain his family. Sironga's story is a replica of the burden of high cost of living. Many Kenyans have to shoulder occasion by hikes in fuel prices as Kenya's Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, reviews the fuel prices in the country. For Sironga, the latest review is just a drop in the ocean and he can only hope the prices will be a little bit friendly. Hatuwezi sema ati ni mambo ya global lakini serikali iangalie katika Levi Fund ipunguze ili hata sisi kama driver tuwe tunapata kitu katika maisha yetu. But if recent remarks by President William Ruto and Energy CS Davis Chirchir are anything to go by, Kenyans will have to wait a little bit longer before they can see light at the end of the tunnel. On November 7th, during a parliamentary meeting at State House, the head of state was quoted saying his hands were tied while Energy CS appearing before the National Dialogue Committee hinted that the prices could hit a record high of 300 shillings as a result of Israel-Palestine war. At date, we can do much on the international pricing of petroleum, which has soared from $70 to $80 to $90. And I read an article in the Financial Times the other day because of the Hamas and uh, Israeli war, that freight, uh, sorry, that the international prices could go up to $150. And that would literally mean our products going to a high of 300 shillings uh, per liter at the pump. We hope it doesn't get there. Such comments create little hope among Kenyans, some taking to X formerly known as Twitter, expressing fears of further fuel hike in the near future. One user Aunt Fred Ouko wrote, the green holiday is over and April is about to bury the hopes of an entire nation. And another user Aunt Senior CJ wrote, April is just about to do their thing. Whether EPRA will increase or lower fuel prices is a judgment no one is making. Seronga can only hope that EPRA will heed his call and ease his frustration at the pump. Auma Evans for 